Israeli shipyards were present at the recent ADIS in the Philippines, showcasing the SAR S-80 multi-role corvette design that could be a potential offering from Israel's shipyard to meet the needs of the Philippine Navy, as well as displaying the Shaldag MK. V Fast Patrol Boat After the decision to select and acquire the Shaldag MK, V, the Philippine Navy is now looking at the possibility of adding to its fleet with a larger and more advanced patrol boat, the SAR S-80. This design is one of Israel shipyard's flagship products that has proven its capabilities in many navies around the world. Let's focus more on the SAR S-80 which is Israel shipyard's flagship export design. The SAR S-80 is a fast-class patrol boat designed for a variety of maritime missions, including water patrol, surveillance, search and rescue, and rapid intervention. With a length of about 80 meters, the ship is designed to have high speed and good maneuverability, it is powered by four diesel engines in CODAD configuration, allowing a speed exceeding 28 knots and a range of 3,500 nautical miles or 14 knots. This makes the ship ideal for operations in challenging maritime environments. The SAR S-80 Corvette is a smaller design compared to the ones purchased by the Philippine Navy from HDHHI, and can be reconditioned as an offshore patrol vessel. With a length of 80 meters, a width of 11 meters, a displacement of about 1,000 tons and is said by its builder to be able to match larger ships in naval combat, at a lower cost. The weapon suite is modular and can be customized according to customer needs. The Israeli shipyard confirmed that the ship can be equipped with combat systems manufactured by the Israeli defense industry or and other equivalent systems according to customer needs. The S-80 SAR can be fitted with surface-to-surface -surface and surface-to-air missiles, a 76mm main gun, a remotely controlled stabilized gun of up to 30mm, and electronic warfare systems. The weapon systems are subject to change although the scale model shown at ADAS-2024 had a 76mm main gun, a 4x4 cell VLS most likely for Barak-8 surface-to-air missiles, two launches for suicide drones acting as anti-ship and land attack weapons, two secondary weapons most likely Raphael Typhoon for 25mm or 30mm guns, and space for a light helicopter or naval UAV and two RHIBs. Sensors include an AESA air, surface search radar, fire control radar, navigation and helicopter operations radar, and an extensive electronic warfare system for both defensive and offensive use. The current design does not appear to focus on anti-submarine warfare although we believe Israel shipyards could change the design depending on requirements. It may also include the installation of medium-range anti-ship cruise missile launches. Due to the cost-effectiveness ratio, Max Defense Philippines truly believes that a design similar to this should be given a hard look, as a good platform that can be built locally in numbers, which can provide the Philippine Navy with enough BLS and anti-ship missile weapons to deter and confront the Chinese Navy, at a fraction of the cost. Since it can also be reconditioned as a patrol vessel, it can also be a suitable MRRV platform for the Philippine Coast Guard. The vessel is designed for stealth, agility, and command of the seas with cutting-edge capabilities needed in future combat scenarios. The S-80 will enable the Philippine Navy to effectively protect their country's sovereignty, guard their economic waters, and win naval battles in times of war. The S-80 has the endurance to operate in the open seas, and also to control the littoral. All this with an optimal cost-benefit ratio. Since Israel Shipyards has been assisting the Philippine Navy in rebuilding its lost shipbuilding capabilities, 
it is not impossible for them to allow for technology transfer including allowing the vessel to be built locally to support the SRDP shipbuilding program. With the procurement of the SAR S-80 can be a strategic move for the Philippine Navy in strengthening its maritime defense. By adopting this sophisticated patrol vessel, the Philippine Navy will not only enhance its operational capabilities but also strengthen its position in an increasingly competitive region. At the same time, this is also an opportunity for Israel Shipyard to demonstrate its technological superiority on the international stage, especially in defense cooperation with countries in Southeast Asia.